factoring trinomials when a does not equal 1. The sorts of trinomials we're used to factoring look like this, ax squared plus bx plus c. When we factor this sort of trinomial, we use our diamond and we look for the two numbers that multiply to c but add to b. Now by a equal to 1, what I mean is the coefficient in front of the x squared term is an invisible 1. So when I have x squared, I have an invisible coefficient of 1. In this toolkit, I'm looking at examples where I have a different coefficient in front of x squared. For example, a coefficient of 6. And it's important when I say as a doesn't equal 1 that I first check to make sure there is not a GCF to factor out. So this does not have a GCF, 6x squared x negative 2. There's nothing I can factor out. So in fact, this is an example of a quadratic trinomial where a does not equal 1. Now when a does not equal 1, I cannot just use a diamond looking for two numbers that multiply to c and add to b. But I can do something really similar. Now instead of multiplying just to c, I'm looking for the two numbers that multiply to a times c a times c goes in the top of my diamond. So in this case, 6 times negative 2, which is negative 12. Other than that, my diamond is the same. The bottom is looking for two numbers that add to b, in this case, add to 1. And now I just do my diamond like I normally do. Two integers that multiply to negative 12 add to 1. I hope that you are an awesome rock star at this by now. So the two numbers that multiply to negative 12 add to 1 are 4, and negative 3. You may think, hey, that's easy. x plus 4, x minus 3, done. I hope that you notice that this definitely does not multiply to my original trinomial. x times x does not give me 6x squared. So this is a no, no, no. You create this modified diamond, multiply to a times c, add to b, but then you cannot just use the solution to your diamond in order to write your factors. You have a whole second step that we have not been using when a equals 1. So this whole second step involves using a box to find the factors. So after you do your diamond, you're going to go ahead and draw a box. And inside of that box, you're going to place the original ax squared and the original c. So the original ax squared goes in the top left, 6x squared. And the original c goes in the bottom right. So that is that piece of my original trinomial. Now the other thing that I'm going to go ahead and fill in is the two x terms that add to my middle term, and that is found from my diamond. So I have, I need my x terms to add to x, and they do, 4x and negative 3. So I find my x terms from my diamond, including an x, 4x plus negative 3x does equal positive x. So this is going to add to my original trinomial, 6x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 2. 6x squared plus x minus 2. And now I need to find the outside. What are my factors that are going to multiply to this inside? There's a really great way to do this, which is to find the GCF of the rows and the columns. If I find the GCF of the rows and the columns, I will then have factors that multiply to the inside of the box, which simplifies to my original trinomial. Let's go ahead and do that. So. Let's see, what is the GCF of this row? What is the GCF of 6x squared and negative 3x? So for the coefficient, what's the GCF of 6 and negative 3? Positive 3. What's the GCF of the variable factor x squared and x? It's just x. So the GCF of 6x squared and negative 3x is 3x. What is the GCF of this row? 4x and negative 2. No variable factor, so no variable in the GCF. The GCF of 4 and negative 2 is just 2. I'm only going to have a negative GCF if both of the terms are negative. Now I said I was going to find the GCF of the column. I can do that. I can also just think, hey, what do I need to multiply by 3x to give me the inside of the box? What do I need to multiply by 3x to give me 6x squared? Are you thinking? So to get to 6x squared from 3x, I need to multiply 3x by 2x. And look, 2 times 2x gives me 4x. And this is also the GCF of the column. So the GCF of 6 and 4 is 2. The GCF of x squared and x is x. So the GCF of this column is 2x. So 
So there were two ways to find this. I'm trying to create the factors that multiply to the inside of the box. So I could just think what times 3x gives me 6x squared, or I can find the GCF of the column. Similarly here, I can find the GCF of the column, but it's a little tricky. 3 and 2, eh, x, nothing. The GCF here is actually negative 1, because when both terms are negative, I need to include that in my GCF. Maybe a little easier is that other method. What times 3x gives me negative 3x? Negative 1. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. What I've done here is I started with the inside of my box, and I found the outside what two factors multiply to 6x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 2. I am now done. I take the outside of my box, 3x plus 2, outside my box, 2x minus 1, and I now have the two binomials that multiply together to give me 6x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 2, original trinomial 6x squared plus x minus 2. Of course we want to check that. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times negative 1 is minus 3x. 2 times 2x is 4x. And 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Yay, this does in fact simplify to my original trinomial 6x squared plus x minus 2. You should be thinking though that this really wasn't necessary, right? Because I already did this multiplication. The way I found the outside is I found the two things that multiplied to what I was looking for. So really the check already happened. 6x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 2, that does give me my original trinomial. Let's try another example. Isn't this so fun? Okay, so for my diamond, I'm looking for the numbers, the integers, that multiply to a times c. So they need to multiply to 3 times negative 8, negative 24. Then they need to also add to b. They need to add to negative 2. Do you know what those two integers are? The integers that multiply to negative 24 add to negative 2. I hope that you know those integers are negative 6 and 4. Negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. That is the step that's just a little different than my usual, looking for the diamond problem that multiplies to a times c, not just c. Next step, I draw my box. And I'm filling in the inside of my box so that I can find the outside, so that I can find those factors that multiply to the inside. So to fill in the inside, top left is 3x squared. Bottom right is negative 8. So original ax squared, original c. And then these two x terms are going to be the terms that add to negative 2. And I found those using my diamond. Negative 6 and 4 add to negative 2. So that gives me my x terms, negative 6x and 4x. Now I have the inside of my box. 3x squared minus 6x plus 4x minus 8 simplifies to 3x squared minus 2x minus 8. Now I need to find the outside of my box, the factors that are going to multiply to this inside. The way I can do that is finding the GCF of the row, the GCF of the column. So what is the GCF of 3x squared and 4x? No GCF other than 1 for 3 and 4. The GCF of x squared and x is x. What is the GCF of this row? They're both negative, so it needs to be a negative. No x, so it's just going to be a number. What's the GCF of negative 6 and negative 8? It is negative 2. Again, two ways to find the other factor. So one of my factors is going to be x minus 2. I can either find the GCF of the columns, or I can think, what times x gives me 3x squared? What is it? Think about what it is. Just 3x. 3x times x gives me 3x squared. Negative 2 times 3x gives me negative 6x. I could have also just found this GCF. The GCF of 3 and negative 6 is 3. The GCF of x squared and x is x. GCF of this column, 4 and negative 8, is 4. And that's my entire GCF since there's no x in this term. Let's check 3x times x, 3x squared, 4 times x, 4x, 3x times negative 2, negative 6x, 4 times negative 2, negative 8. 
yep, that works. So I have found my original, or I have found my factored form. 3x plus 4 times x minus 2, and that should multiply to my original trinomial. I don't need to do the distributive property because I have already multiplied using the box. 3x plus 4 times x minus 2 gives me 3x squared minus 6x plus 4x minus 8. That simplifies to 3x squared minus 2x minus 8.